What's up everybody, this is Dan Dan the Fireman. I wanna give you guys a quick short review of my Bell Bullet helmet that I've had for over three years now, or close to three years now, let me get that right. And I've been riding it all the time. I haven't changed out any of the cheek welds. I haven't changed out any of the stuff on the inside. There's some wear and tear. As you can tell, I got some bug stuff right here and I have a new face shield, which is the Silver Iridium. If you guys wanna check the link in the description, I have a link to the Silver Iridium. I think that is absolutely the best helmet shield that you can have. Anyways, I digress on that. Let's go ahead and switch and talk about the helmet itself. First off, one of the biggest cons is that this helmet does not fit me very well. It actually hurts very, very much uh, when I first got it. Now it's starting to relax a little bit. Right here on the forehead, as you can tell by a lot of the sweat stains right here, it has caused me the most pain in my forehead. I do have some hot spots on the forehead right uh, across the, the forehead itself. It puts a lot of pressure on. That's because I have a shaped head that does not fit this helmet. I'll have a pop-up kind of pop-up right here discussing about what the three different types of helmets and then I'll show you what type of head fits that helmet. I don't have that head. I don't have that shape of a head. On to the pros. Pros, it looks amazing. As you can tell, I got, I got everything taken off. The pros are that it's amazing. It's amazing looking. It's very retro. It's very unique. A lot of people like to comment about how beautiful my helmet is. You can ride it without the shield and it still looks amazing. You can ride it with the shield and it looks amazing. I ride it off-road, on-road. It's kind of designed for that. It's kind of designed to have that cool, unique look to it. This obviously goes right here. Um, I don't have it on right now because I was taking all that stuff off. But that's the cool thing is that you're able to take it on, take it off pretty easy uh, with the, the shield and everything. It's just a matter of, it's just a matter of putting a screw in there and you get a quarter. There it is, all done. Nice and easy, it looks beautiful. And then when you put the shield on, same thing. You just put the shield on first, put that on, screw it on. It's pretty simple. There's not a lot of venting to you reduce sweat. Here's the back vent. And then here's the four vents in the front. Like I said, there's not a lot of vents, not a lot of things. I'm actually blocking a vent right here with my GoPro attachment. It's very noisy, very loud inside. I usually ride with headphones or if I'm going to talk to my girlfriend with the Santa Bluetooth. There's speaker compartments on the inside right there where the arrow's pointing. And the speakers do fit okay. They don't fit perfect, and it's a little bit squishy on the, on the ears. But you know what? Overall, it looks pretty good, and it works for what it's supposed to and what it's intended for. Really, you don't want to be putting Santa Bluetooth and anything on this helmet. You don't even want to have a GoPro on, on the helmet itself. But you know what? I decided to do that, and it works. You're able to make it work if you really try. It doesn't take a lot of effort. All the linings come off. You're able to wash them and take care of them. I've washed them maybe twice this whole time. So this is the normal wear and tear. A little bit of the brown is starting to come off and it's black leather underneath. But that's what the inside of the helmet looks like. Everything's pretty easy and pretty comfortable on the sides. Now, as you can tell where the helmet meets the forehead, there's not a lot of padding. The padding's actually been pushed down because of the shape of my helmet. And you can see the sweat stains onto the actual helmet itself. That part you cannot take off, that part you cannot wash unless you want to dunk your whole helmet, which is not recommended. The straps have been holding up very well. Straps are very good quality. You have great visibility with how wide this is. This is a very thin chin strap, so I'm able to see very wide. I've put on my girlfriend's helmet. I've put on actually my dual sport helmet. When I put on my dual sport helmet, I do miss how wide this is. Usually, you know, I get like a small section to, of visibility out of this, but I get so much in this. It doesn't even look like I have a helmet on when I'm looking around. Overall, the helmet is really good quality. It gets good looks. This is the Bell Bullet TT. It is discontinued, but if you guys want to check out the other Bell Bullets out there, there's some really cool designs and really cool stuff coming out, especially the carbon bullets and everything. But guys, if you have this helmet and you kind of came to this video to check and see what other people think about this helmet, or if you're brand new to motorcycling and you want a badass helmet, and you want a really cool helmet, or you're just thinking about buying one of these, thank you for coming by and taking a look at this. If you have any questions, please make a comment down below and I will answer that question. I love talking to you guys. And if you guys want to see me riding around in the desert with this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click those links in the description to find anything else that I ride with. And I'll see you guys later.